Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you a solution for blocking bots or unwanted automated traffic from your websites if you're using Amazon CloudFront. Now let's expand on that automated traffic. That might be traffic that is creating a bunch of fake user accounts, they're testing stolen credentials, also known as credential stuffing, uh, web scraping where your public data is being harvested, gift card attacks where they're trying to crack gift card codes. Using F5 Distributed Cloud Bot Defense, you can detect the automated traffic based on signals and artificial intelligence, even from the most sophisticated attackers. And because this intelligence is managed by F5 Security Operations Center and aided by AI, there's no worry about having to update any systems should an attacker retool their methods after their first attempt. CloudFront offers many benefits for a website. At the time of this video, there's over 400 points of presence around the world, so it's great for expansion of a website. Uh, it has a number of application features, such as the ability to allow for services like F5 Distributed Cloud Bot Defense to actually plug in and offer its services to the traffic flows through CloudFront. Now, how this solution works is, let's say you have a client over here and you're using CloudFront and you have your origin servers. And these origin servers might be in a VPC, they might be in another cloud environment, they might be hosted on-prem in a co-location, wherever they might be. And with that infrastructure drawn out, I'll go ahead and illustrate the F5 distributed cloud. And even though I'm drawing this as a single object, F5 Distributed Cloud is made up of a number of regional edges located around the world and connected via an extremely fast network backbone. And inside of F5 Distributed Cloud is actually where the bot and risk management services are hosted and configured. So inside of the Distributed Cloud console, you'll actually be configuring what's called a protected application and you're going to be specifying a region and a connector type of Amazon CloudFront. You'll also need to give it the AWS account number and the distribution ID, or you can use a tag instead. Then you'll be specifying the protected endpoints. This might be a login page or a registration page. These are the pages that are at risk to unwanted automated traffic or the bots. And then you'll be specifying the methods that you're using, such as post. So when you've completed that configuration, you're going to get a config file and a config tool. Now over in CloudFront, you're going to open up what's called the Serverless Application Repository or SAR and you will find the F5 connector in there. You would then deploy that into a Lambda function. You'll then grab the previously downloaded uh, config file and installer tool and you'll upload them into AWS and run the installer tool. And after that, you'll find that CloudFront has some behaviors configured that should resemble the endpoints and JavaScript specified back in the F5 Distributed Cloud console. So now that this is all configured, when the traffic comes into CloudFront and it hits one of the endpoints that has been configured for JavaScript insertion, that JavaScript is going to be loaded into the client and it's going to be picking up signals and those signals come back and they're uh, given to F5 Distributed Cloud and Distributed Cloud is gonna do an evaluation. And then come back to CloudFront and then say whether or not that traffic needs to be blocked, redirected, or allowed through. Easy as that. From there, all the monitoring and events will be found in the F5 Distributed Cloud console. You'll see maps and attack sources, types of bots, the top endpoints being attacked, all sorts of stuff in there. So hope you found this video useful. You can find detailed configuration steps in the article linked down below. There's also a video attached that has step-by-step -step walkthrough configuration as well. Feel free to leave a comment in that article or down below if you have any questions or contact an F5 representative to walk you through how the solution applies to your own applications. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next one.